Hello students, you are welcome to your e-learning class. I am Mrs. Bassi. I will be taking SS2 class on the topic Tools of Economic Analysis 2. In your SS1, you were taught Tools of Economic Analysis 1. And coming into SS2, you are going to be taught Tools of Economic Analysis 2. Under this topic, today I am going to take simple linear equations. Simple linear equation. Simple linear equation is a first degree equation which has one as the highest degree. What do I mean by that? It is an equation in which the unknown is raised to the power of one. Or put it differently, it is an equation in which the unknown is raised to the power of not more than one. For example, you have x plus 4 equals to 6. This is an example of a linear equation. Now, this x that is the unknown in this equation is raised to the power of 1. I know you all know that. And it is a law in mathematics that is all, not always written out. So whenever you see an unknown that is raised to the power, there's no other number there. You know that that unknown is raised to the power of 1. And because the unknown is raised to the power of 1, it is a linear equation. And you have other types of equation. Like, for instance, if I change this equation to k raised to the power of 2 equals to 2 plus 1. In this case, you can see that the unknown is raised to the power of 2. In this case, it's no longer a linear equation. But now... The, it is called what? A quadratic equation because the unknown is raised to the power of 2. You can also have as many um, numbers as possible. Now, to start with, we are not going to base on linear equation alone. We are looking, in economics, we are looking at application of linear equation in functional relationship. We are going to use linear equation to test the relationship between one function or another in economics. For example, we are going to test the relationship between prices and quantity demanded using a linear equation. Now, based on the first equation I gave to you, you can go ahead to solve it in a way you can say you bring out the x and if you, you put your equal sign, then you write the a 6 that was already on the right hand side of the equation. Then if the plus 4 crosses the sign of equality, it becomes what? Minus 4. And now x will be what? Equal to 2. But this is not our concern as pay, because it's normally said where the mathematics stops, that's where the economics begin. So for instance, if a particular equation is given, in order to be able to test the relationship between quantities, 
For instance, you are given this equation, which says Q equals to 21 minus 3P. It is a linear equation because the unknown is raised to the power of 1. Now, in YA, the first thing that you need to know is for you to be able to identify linear equation and also use it to do what? To determine the relationship between one or more variables. Now, in this case, this equation is Q equals to 21 minus 3P. Now, if you are given to calculate the value of the quantity if P is equal to zero. For instance, you are asked to find I, the value of the quantity when the price is equal to zero. Okay? Maybe when the price increases to one or when the price increases to two or when the price increases to three. Four, five, six. If you are asked to find the quantity demanded of a particular product, if the price keep on increasing, as I'm, reading, I'm writing it on the board for you now. Now the next thing to do, because price, P here stands for price, whereas Q here stands for quantity demanded, where P equals to the price and Q stands for quantity demanded. But this equation is how the quantity demanded is related to price. So in this case, you are going to calculate the quantity demanded if the price changes from zero to six naira. Now, wherever you have P, P stands for price, you are going to substitute. The first instance is given Q equals to 21 minus 3P. When P, which is the price, is equal to zero naira. Now, using this functional relationship, you will have 21 minus three. You know, P now is zero naira. So you are going to substitute zero in the place of a P. So you now multiply three by zero. And you know that any number multiplied by Zero is what? You already know that any number multiplied by zero is what? Zero. So you are going to have it as 21 minus what? Zero, which is 21. Now in the second instance, when the price further increases to one naira, so you will now have 21 minus three times one which is equal to 21 minus 3 times 1 will give you what? 3. 21 minus 3 will give you what? 18. When P is equal to 2 naira, you have 21 minus 3 times 2 equals to 21 minus 3 times 2 gives you what? 6. So 21 minus 6 will now give you what? 15. Now, when the price changes to 3 naira, you have 21 minus 3 times 3 which is 21 minus 9. P is equal to 3. So you have 21 minus 3 multiplied by 3, which will give you 21 minus 9, which is 12. 
Now, when P is equal to 4 Naira, so you now have 21 minus 3 multiplied by 4. That will give you 21 minus 12. 21 minus 12 will give you 9. So, having calculated the different quantities, when the price varies from 1 naira to 2 to 3 and so on. Now, we are going to put our results in form of a demand schedule, which is the price and the quantity. Price is in naira. It's very simple. So, when the price was 0, 1, when the price was zero, quantity demanded was 21. The price increases to one, quantity demanded reduces to 18. When the price increases to two, quantity demanded reduces to 15. You have seen your uh, demand schedule. Now, in the next class, we are going to use our demand schedule to plot a graph. So with this, we have come to the end of this class. Till I come your way again. Bye for now. Educating you without compromise.